Hello everyone, welcome to GoTerran TV. I'm Taryn, the traveling trainer of GoTerran Personal Training here in the greater Atlanta area, about to welcome a new guest to GoTerran TV for the very first time, who is also in the greater Atlanta area, Ms. Zyla Masika. Now, before we welcome Zyla on to today's show, I'd like to ask everyone out there if you'd please be so kind as to like today's video blog, leave us a comment, and share it with all of your friends and family out there. Now, Zyla and I have connected on LinkedIn, and this is the first time I'm going to be talking to her one-on-one, -on -one, virtually, through Skype, and we're going to learn that not only is she a business coach, she's an online health and wellness specialist, and she's also a lifestyle specialist, a music and yoga instructor, among all other things, so you're going to learn so much about her and everything that she's doing here in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we're going to be talking to her in just a few moments, so please stay tuned, and when you come back... You'll see the interview with Zyla Masika on GoTerran TV. And remember, with GoTerran Personal Training, it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Taryn, the traveling trainer here, and side by side on the split screen, as you can see, we're welcoming for the very first time, also in Atlanta, Georgia, Ms. Zyla Messica. Uh, Zyla, how are you doing out there today? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for having me. This is great. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for coming on. Um, appreciate you being here. Uh, always great to speak to awesome health and wellness uh, professionals like yourself. And, you know, you're not only um, a uh, health coach online, uh, wellness coaching, lifestyle uh, specialist, and also a music yoga instructor. I wanted to ask you all about that. We'll get to that here in a second um, because uh, you got a lot going on. You're a business owner, an educator, and such. And uh, I guess first and foremost, uh, just since it's the first time uh, we're talking virtually face-to-face -face here, um, could you tell everyone a little bit about yourself and how you ended up here, uh, I guess, in Atlanta, Georgia first? Sure. Um, well, my name is Zyla Masika. I'm uh, 43 years old. I'm a mom of three, and my husband and I had um, lived abroad, actually. I'm originally from Chicago, and we went abroad, and his company was purchased by a company in Atlanta, which is what led us to come to Atlanta. I had actually never been in Atlanta prior to living here, wow. and, uh, and <laughs> we love it. Um, and so in that time, I mean, my my undergrad, my background, I was in, I had a dual degree in music and education and was a music teacher for quite a few years and then decided to see how life would be on the business side. So I got my MBA in Chicago and worked in brand management for consumer packaged goods companies. And, um, and that was great, but it didn't fulfill me or I didn't feel like I was meeting my life's purpose. And so I um, ended up kind of marrying my two loves, um, music and education and business, which I loved both. Mm -hmm. So I opened my own um, children's enrichment center in Chicago, teaching mommy and me classes. And when, um, when we went abroad, I was able to take that with me and did, continued those programs and found niches where we were. The big niche was for um, preschools in English, so I opened up a couple of preschools as well when I when we were traveling. And since we've been in Atlanta, um, I was continuing to teach and do work, but um, I noticed my health was was failing me a little bit. I mm -hmm. wasn't as strong as I had always been. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel as healthy as I had been. It was affecting my mood. It was affecting who I was showing up to at work and with my children and my husband. And, um, and that led me to go on a little bit of a, of a personal quest, basically, to see how I could improve my life. Because at 43, I was, I'm expecting to live, you know, a good, uh, you know, 50 or so more years. And I thought, there's no way I can let this be, like, this can't be it. And so um, that's led me to where I am today and to be in touch with you now, Taryn. Wow, that's an amazing story, Zyla. So uh, backing up, how long uh, was that that you guys had moved here to Atlanta then, about roughly? Um, we've been here for about three years, about, about three. a month. Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. No, that's great. And I know the transition must have been uh, pretty big, especially since you hadn't been here before. Um, but uh, I, like yourself, I moved from Chicago. Well, I went to my undergrad in uh, Chicago uh, up there in River Forest Oak Park area. So I know that's kind of a, a change culturally, but especially coming abroad, and then here. Um, so that's really neat about the, uh, you know, music uh, enrichment education classes for kids. Um, I, I know that you'd mentioned that, you know, um, 
you transitioned from that. Are you still doing anything in that capacity at all or uh, working or helping counsel anybody in doing that? Yeah, um, I still teach my classes um, a little bit more on kind of volunteer as needed. I do a lot of stuff for my children's classes now. Okay. Um, my, I'm not running the I'm not running the business as I had, and that was mm-hmm. the first question everyone had for me when I was moving from abroad to the states. Everyone's like, "Are you gonna keep, Are you gonna open it again?" And never, as if you heard the story again, I opened a business in Chicago, and then we went abroad, and I opened three times, and so I had done this, and it's a lot of work. To open up a business, as oh, you know, yeah. it's 24-7 job. It doesn't stop. Um, even it, I didn't take much vacation time. And so um, now that I have three young children, my youngest is, is 14 months old. Um, and so my life is taking me in a little bit of a different direction. I will probably never stop being an educator or um, a music lover and music teacher at heart. Um, I still find ways to put that into my day. But, um, but after experiencing just kind of this health revolution that I've been through, I'm seeing a whole new path opening up and I just want to share this, this joy of how, of how I feel, of how my life has done a complete 180 in a short amount of time. And I want to pass that along to anyone and everyone. Um, and that is, I know that as that continues, I'll be able to open up even more time and more of myself to, to give, both to people, you know, for health and wellness, and also to give um, my music and education. Um, you know, you're still teaching music and being with children. So. Yeah, again, that's incredible, Zyla. And so specifically uh, about the story of uh, how you felt, like with signs and symptoms, uh, what was going on, and then I guess kind of tell us uh, uh, what was profound and what eventually happened to help uh, be able to uh, change this around for you. Sure. I mean, it had been probably, if I were to really go back and look, it probably had been 15 years or so of, of my health not working for me. Oh, wow. But there was always an excuse. There was always a reason. Well, I'm a business owner. Yeah. You know, at the time when I started my business, I was 30 years old. I was single. Um, you know, didn't have children, n- nothing but myself to, to take care of. Mm-hmm. Um, there was an excuse. Well, I must be, I'm working around the clock. So that would make sense why I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. At the time, I was, um, you know, I had I went through phases of my life. I had run marathons. I had done marathon training, um, but would come home from a marathon run absolutely exhausted and would sleep for about six hours. Mm. And I was sure of some of my other marathon colleagues who were like energized for the day. And I thought, well, something's not working right. I started doing um, some insanity videos with Shanti, and I started to realize that if I did two a day, which I don't know if anybody's ever done these videos, but they're <laughs> Idled insanity, but I realized that if I did two a day, I could pretty much eat what I wanted and kind of maintain sort of a weight, mm-hmm. um, you know, to fit into my clothes. And then I, you know, I would kind of go up and down um, with my weight, and I would, a friend of mine would say, "Oh, I'm doing this boot camp thing where we're going to eat certain foods and we're going to work out." So I would join it, and I'd feel great maybe for about 30 days. And as soon as it was done, you know, it wasn't sustainable. I would just fall off the wagon, or you know, have a glass of wine and a cupcake, and that was it. Um, <laughs> So I, you know, really struggled. I was always trying to find ways to keep myself healthy. I mm-hmm. felt like I knew what I needed to do. I had done the no carbs, low carbs. I had done um, Atkins, and and I worked for a while for a company who printed all of the materials for Weight Watchers. So I actually was able to use all of that information and and make a diet plan for myself. But um, so I was always tired. I had very very terrible sleep. Mm. So. Even if I would crash, you know, somewhere between 7 and 9 p.m., maybe on the couch watching TV, I would groggily wake up at midnight maybe and head myself to bed. And then something would happen, and I would wake up through the night, and my head would either be racing. And I just attributed that to, well, you know, I'm a business owner, so that's stress, and I'm worried. And um, and so I would wake up, I, you know, the, I, I always push the snooze, always push the snooze. And I did this thing that I have a word for it. I used to negotiate away my morning. Mm-hmm. I would negotiate, well, okay, I'll just do, instead of a 45-minute workout, I'll do a 30-minute workout. Okay, I won't work out in the morning, I'll work out in the afternoon. Okay, I won't take a shower. Okay, I, I, I won't um, do something fancy to my hair. I mean, it was just until I would just pull myself out of bed and rush off to work, hmm. grabbing, you know, a granola bar and really junky food to eat, hmm. and that was my day. Um, I started to also notice that, you know, especially as I got older, 
after I had my three children. Um, but when I hit 40, all of the traditional things that were working to lose weight or to feel healthy weren't working anymore. Mm -hmm. So this, I watched a ton of documentaries. Um, you can see them all out there on Netflix about all the health I mean, there's just tons of information about what you should or shouldn't eat. And I watched those, took notes, and I said to my family, okay, we're doing a full plant-based diet. And my husband, you know, God love him, he's always been on board with whatever I've said we're going to do. So he jumped in with us. Um, plant-based diet for six weeks. You know, we looked at each other at the end and said, well, I don't feel any better. <laughs> Certainly don't have any more energy. Um, we did a, a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. Um, again, all based on documentaries that I had seen. So I had tried eliminating, I had tried adding things. Um, and then what started happening was I was getting more and more exhausted. Um, and my mood was really starting to change. Um, who I was showing up. Um, but the person that was showing up for my family wasn't wasn't me. I mean, the inside of me, I knew I could be better. I had taken all of the parenting courses. Mm -hmm. I had taken mindful classes. I knew how to be present and focused and great for my family. And I couldn't muster enough energy to get through an hour of it. And, um, and watching my mood and my persona just changing, you know, where I would wake up in the morning looking for an opportunity to take a nap, um, would just hope that my baby would sleep for an extra hour so I could just lay on the couch. <laughs> allowing things from my day to just go undone. You know, the laundry wasn't folded mm -hmm. because I was laying on the couch. Um, I dreaded, you know, the afternoon when I'd have to go pick up my kids and just would hope that there would be somebody that could play with them at the park or that my kids would be fine doing a quiet activity at home. It was really, really sad when I think about it, you mm -hmm. know, and it's mm -hmm. I just told you I was a teacher and I love children and I've worked with children. This wasn't right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And who I was showing up for, you know, for my, my husband wasn't right. And I would go to work. I did the best I could, but I know that I didn't give, nobody was getting the best of me anymore. And, and then my husband had a conversation with me that I think was really just the big lightning bolt. Aha, like something has to, something has to be done. But he sat down with me and said, I love you. No judgments. Hmm but you're not living life. Like this isn't life. And so I don't know if you need to see a doctor about getting put on medication. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I know plenty of people that really do depend on that, but I knew for myself that that wasn't the answer. I just, it couldn't be. Um, I reluctantly made an appointment with a doctor. And so I had an appointment set up for about three or four weeks out. And in that time, I said, I'm just going to keep researching. My mom was a big naturalist. And as we were growing up, she was very into, you know, you what you put in your body is what you're going to get out. And you hear this all the time. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. Oh, yeah. And I just looking at everything that I was eating. And this was, we, this was by the way, just right after we'd gotten off our plant-based diet experiment at home for six mm -hmm. weeks. I looked at it. I said, listen, I just added in spinach salads every day, vegetables, uh, fruits, and nuts, and he healthy grains, and quinoa. And why aren't I, first of all, why aren't I losing weight? Second of all, why aren't I feeling better? Mm -hmm. uh, and and why isn't my husband feeling any better? Like, none of us were feeling significantly better. Mm. And so that led me to a big series of researching and looking on the internet. And then I came across um, my current health and wellness company. And um, if you're fine, I mean, can I share and say? Yeah, let's say, do it, please. It's okay to share Absolutely. with Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. That led me to fall into the lap of isogenics. Mm -hmm. um, and if you haven't heard of it, basically isogenics is, is a, a solution company that focuses on health, wellness, um, weight loss, energy, um, performance, and wealth creation. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said yes to isogenics for the energy and the weight loss. I knew I had weight, loss, weight to lose. Um, and I remember as I was signing up to get my first set of, of products coming to me. I remember saying to the person I was speaking to, I know what I have to do to lose weight. I know, and, and here's my credit card number, but I hear, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. And she was like, okay, that's okay. <laughs> um, because I really did feel like I knew exactly what to do, mm -hmm. but nothing that I had known was working. And so what Isogenics is, is basically taking, um, they have researched, um, John Anderson is there kind of formula master. So if you want to learn more about him, you can Google John Anderson, but he grew up 
learning about minerals and, and learning about the importance of what they do in our body. And he has traveled the world extensively seeking out the best kinds of minerals and vitamins and nutrients that we can get into our bodies. Um, Isogenics takes all of, all of their products are made from food. It's not chemicals. So if you're on medication or whatever, there's no worry with Um, you know, interactions. It's just basically if you have an allergy to certain foods, that's the only thing you have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. But all of their products are, are, um, for the most part, all of them are gluten-free, soy-free, vegetarian or um, lacto-vegetarian, nut-free, dairy-free or lactose-free. So it's just really, they're very conscientious about what goes into the product and how it goes into your body. So when I take, um, so most of their food, it's all food products, but the, the, the heart of the program is making sure that you um, have two nutrient-dense shakes daily, and each shake is like sitting down at the table with a ton of vegetables and fruits and lean meats and vitamins and minerals that in order for us to, I don't, I don't think I could even prepare mm-hmm. all of food to go into my body. It would probably take, be about 3,500 calories to make all of the nutrients that I would need to get into my body. And they've condensed it into um, a shake um, at uh, 250 to 280 calories. So um, not uh, not a full meal replacement. Most of our meals are a little bit more than 250 calories, but – but something to, you know, I, t- I have one at breakfast. I told you before I would be running out the door. Maybe I'd grab a granola bar. Mm-hmm. Now I can the door and I put, I drink this nutrient dense shake and it just floods your body and floods your cells with all of the nutrition that you need. Um, and part of the isogenic system as well, um, you know, they've been around for 16 years and they've been doing this since the beginning, but they also have an intermittent fasting or, um, they call it their cellular deep cleanse and you can Google intermittent fasting. I know that's huge right now. It's just now kind of coming out into the health and wellness industry, but it's something isogenics has already researched and done for quite some time. But isogenics does a nutritionally, um, supported intermittent fasting. So you aren't just avoiding food you are in, ingesting a drink that um, helps cleanse your cells down you know down to the tiniest level and then you also are every hour ingesting um, a little wafer or a chocolate that helps maintain a perfect glycemic level in your brain so when you're at that perfect glycemic level all day mm-hmm. one you feel good and two your body doesn't go into panic like uh oh I'm not eating um, and during that time your body attacks the the fats that the visceral fat, which is the bad fat that surrounds our organs, mm-hmm. um, the visceral fat in our bodies, you can also Google that and learn more. But um, the very basic is, you know, our bodies um, have a natural detoxification system, right? We have our liver and kidneys, mm-hmm. but our bodies haven't been able to keep up with what's happened in the last hundred or so years in our environment. We are bombarded with toxins. We're bombarded with toxins in the air we breathe, the mattresses we sleep on, the products we use for our skin and hair, and even the pro- And obviously, we know the products that we eat. Some of those products are just laced with toxins, right? Mm-hmm. Especially if you mm-hmm. package food that comes in plastic, you know it's not pure. So, what our body does, which is really smart and really brilliant, is our body fights to attack and and protect us from those toxins. And so our body envelops those toxins in fat, and that's brilliant. Mm-hmm. It protects our organs. But what ends up happening is we get that you know, inner tube of fat around our stomach. That's that visceral fat. We get fat, sticky fat that sticks in our organs. So even the skinniest people, you know, if they go and do an MRI, a lot of doctors can see this really terrible sticky fat around our organs. And that's that fat that's supposed to protect us from toxins. Um, and so what happens during the isogenics cleanse is that it helps your body naturally push out those toxins and get them out of your system. And once you do, and once this happens a little bit more frequently in your body, some your, you start to change. And for me, um, everybody has kind of this magic day that they talk about in, in isogenics. For me, it was day four. Day four, I lit up. Mm-hmm. I came alive as if I had been awakened from a 15-year coma. My husband couldn't believe it. He was just sitting on the couch. It was like 9 o'clock at night, which was my normal pass out on the couch, the asleep time. And I was up, playing laundry, talking to him. I'm like, I just love our life. Don't we have such a great house? And I was just (laughs) – and he was like, I don't know what is in that product, but get some for me right now. So 
started him on the same system. Um, his story, I think, is a little bit more exciting and unique. He had suffered over 16 years of just chronic gastro issues. He'd been to doctor after doctor trying to figure out, is it IBS? No. Is it a gluten intolerance? No. Is it lactose? Just And he's not he's not unique at all. There are a hundred people out there probably watching this right now who say, oh yeah, I always, like, I don't even know what's going to make my stomach go off and feel miserable. Um, the, the doctors have finally just given him some medication to manage kind of the bathroom scenarios or whatever. But about 10 days in for him, he woke up and said, for the first time in 16 years, I don't have any pain in my stomach. Mm. Um, and he's not taking any of his medication. We haven't had to use Aleve or Excedrin or Advil since February. Um, that's huge. I mean, we were medicating so many symptoms and to feel that relief but to have natural energy and what happens when you've got two parents who feel fantastic day in and day out, it means that the kids get the benefit of that. Mm -hmm. Our children are, we give our children um, an isogenic shake every day. And I know they're out there having chicken nuggets and hot dogs, pizza and, you know, birthday cake. And I know that if they're getting their isogenic shake, that they are getting their daily nutrients. And I don't have to worry or stress when they're out and about getting junky food. Mm -hmm that children are, that children are getting. So, um, and then what's happened since then, I mean, I, eight weeks into isogenics, I felt strong enough to start exercising. I put exercise into my life three times a week in, um, I went, I've been going to orange theory three times a week is like what the commitment I've made to myself is mm -hmm. if I in a fourth day, that's great. But I am watching my body transform in, I have never, I mean, I just told you I did marathons. I've also done triathlons. I used to do twice a day, Shanti and sanity. Never has my body looked the way it's looking right now. I've never had lean muscle. I've never had this just beautiful physique. Like it's, my body is literally transforming before my eyes. And I don't know if it's possible to show like a before and after picture. I can send one to you and you can add it into the into this video. But oh yeah, please. Mm -hmm. And where did it come from? Mm -hmm. And um, again, you've all, you probably have heard, I mean, the abs are made in the kitchen. I don't know if you say that, Taryn, to some of your clients, <laughs> but I've seen that timeline a lot, and it is so true. You can go to the gym 12 hours a week, but if you are not nourishing your body with the best stuff, with the best nutrients and vitamins and minerals, it just doesn't matter. And I'm a perfect example of that because mm. I spent my 30s marathon training, doing Shanti and Sanity, exercising, at least seven times a week. I mean, it was mm. it was really strange if I did only six days a week. I exercised wow. seven times a week, sometimes twice a day, mm. for hours. I mean, marathon training means I was running for five hours, you know, three hours at a time. Um, never have I seen my body look and feel the way it is. And now I am 43, post three children, oh. and seeing um, the effects of really good nutrition. And if someone is out there saying, oh, yeah, yeah, I know I take a protein shake, I know. They are not all created equal. And it is so important to research and understand what you're putting into your body. There are about seven different levels of, of whey protein or protein that's put into the shakes. Mm. The lowest level is something like a soy-based. And, um, and then there's like a whey-based, but one that's maybe heated. The isogenics uses undenatured. So you have to research and know what that is. Undenatured whey from... Uh, I think they're called cheerful cows, and those are cows. I think they used to only be in New Zealand, but now they're starting to create these farms or communities where there can be other cheerful cows. But they're basically only milked at their the season when they are supposed to be milked, so they're not sitting up to a machine being milked all day long. Um, and they're you know grass fed, and they make sure that the grass that they're eating is not treated with herbicides, pesticides, and they make sure that the farmland that they're on is is really as, na as natural as it can be. So it's research what you're putting into your body. They are not all created equal. Mm -hmm. um, people look at an isogenic shake and they say, well, it's 250 calories. That's just so scary. It fills you more than a shake that's only 180 calories. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why isogenic shakes are 250 calories because they are almost like a meal replacement. You might need to have a little snack alongside, but you can really, really fill your body. Um, there's sugar in an isogenic shake. Some people freak out about that. The level of sugar is the same level of sugar as a medium-sized apple, and our sugar comes from beets and pears. So it's a natural source, and we need sugar in our body to get mm -hmm. vitamins and minerals to our brain and our organs. You must have sugar. You cannot eliminate sugar from your diet. You just need to make sure that it's the best sugar. Mm -hmm. So research before you just say, oh, yeah, I saw this 
podcast, this vlog with Taryn, and she mm -hmm. said something about a, a shake. I'm going to just go have shakes. That's going to fix it. And I'm going to also not eat for a day. No. <laughs> Learn. You know what's, what you're doing. Um, you know, I highly recommend, you know, making sure you're getting it from the best. And I did my research. I really did. I spent um, about a month and a half trying to figure out where I was going to go. I told you where my nutrition was, and my husband was begging me to get help. Mm -hmm. I spent about six weeks really making sure I knew where I, where I was landing, and isogenics to me made the most sense. And then, you know, four, I told you four days in, uh, my life did a complete 180, um, and I've lost 32 pounds since since the uh, since the program, and um, and of course every day just feeling amazing day after day after day and that's I mean no somebody was asking me how I feel about the system I would take back every 32 of those pounds back onto my body as long as I could feel the way I feel day in and day out getting the best sleep I've ever had in my life even if one or one or two of my little ones wakes me up in the middle of the night I wake up I can tend to them and fall right back to sleep whereas before I told you I was awake with my head spinning all night um, you know having energy that foggy headed feeling that so many of us walk around with that groggy foggy mm -hmm. and you don't realize how bad it is until it's gone. And then you wake up, you're like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe what I was suffering with or struggling with for so long. <laughs> um, so I, I can't say I'm not about getting the best nutrition for your body. And once you do, then you'll see a huge shift in what you're doing in your workouts that will take you to another level. Um, in my orange theory classes, I'm almost up there with some of the men, you know, rowing at the same distances and speeds that they are running at the same distances and speeds, lifting weights heavier than I've ever seen myself do. So it's really quite incredible. Wow. That is incredible. Zyla, that testimony is just powerful. And, um, so Zyla, for anybody watching and listening now and, you know, so that they don't get dissuaded to getting the average Walmart Atkins shake or what have you, yes. uh, Please they want to... Yeah, they definitely want to go with uh, the product Isogenics, and that's quality. So um, let's definitely make sure that they uh, know how to get that. How do they go about, uh, you know, I guess, A, finding out about Isogenics, and then secondly, being able to contact you directly? Sure. So you can read so much about Isogenics on Isogenics.com. And um, and you in their website, they, I mean, they have a variety of different links that can take you to all their research and all their health um, and so if you just want to play around and learn, um, you can also reach out directly to me, to my email, zyla.masika at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm the only Zyla Masika out there. <laughs> but link in with me on Facebook. Let me know that you saw me on um, GoTaren, and uh, I'm happy to help you get started. Um, so what I've been doing is coaching um, all my friends and family and others who've been finding me, I'm coaching them to get the same results that I've been getting um, with Isogenics. And um, definitely don't sign up for Isogenics without someone. Um, even Isogenics, if you, do, if you don't feel like you want to connect it with through me, find someone, ask Isogenics to put you in touch with a good coach. Um, it really does make a difference. Um, don't just get a box and open up and try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There's a whole wealth of information and people out there who want to help you get these results and do it the right way. So um, happy to help. And I'll send you um, a picture you can see or you can go into my Facebook and see all, there's some, some before and after pictures of where I've been and where I um, where I am now. It's yeah, please do. Zyla. Yeah, that'll really help out. And uh, again, I've really enjoyed this uh, past 30 minutes flown by so quickly. I can't believe uh, we're coming to an end here. And uh, again, really appreciate your time being here and, uh, you know, everything you're doing with Isogenics. So um, as soon as we fade to black, we'll make sure we get your contact information up on the screen uh, again so that everyone can take that down. But uh, Zyla, let's definitely not only have you back on here uh, and uh, as a recurring guest, just to continue your progress and your journey so we could see and uh, follow it along with you. Uh, but let's also talk about you coming out to uh, Georgia State University and talking to the students, uh, because I think if you share that testimony, that story, and everything Isogenics is doing uh, with uh, more people that are coming up uh, of age, these millennials, as they learn, uh, this will really help and supplement their nutritional education that they're learning, too. Um, this will Let's definitely talk about that, Zyla, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, Please. yeah, thank you so much, Sal. Again, this has uh, been a lot of fun. And uh, again, I can't believe, um, you know, again, that half hour flew by so quickly with you. But we're going to make sure we get this on the screen here uh, in just a few moments. And Zyla, I want to thank you so much for your time today and sharing this. And uh, we'll see you again on here on GoTerran TV. And um, enjoy the rest of your week, too. Great. Thank you so much, Taryn. Have My a great pleasure. day. You too, Zyla. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Right.